Scorpio. What's going on? Hope all is well. Uh, thank you for clicking on your reading. And we're going to get into it. Uh, it's early, so y'all know sometimes when I record early, I'm like getting my bearings. Also, I don't know if you peeped, there was like a little sauce on this card. Jax got to these a while ago, so I haven't used them in a minute. But um, yeah, so anyway, I got it off. <clears throat> This can resonate, however, but for a lot of you, this will resonate romantically, okay? Um, so the situation is the moon with new moon in Libra, okay? For what's happening with you and the person on your mind. It's almost like two, I feel like this is you and your person, okay? <clears throat> I'm getting yin and yang, masculine, feminine energy. Scorpio, you definitely, I feel, come off as the masculine energy. You show up with the queen of wands, okay? Queen of wands is fire, so masculine. Mm -hmm. um, both, hold on, both you and your person, Obviously, everyone does, but I'm actually seeing the what you portray or what you give off is masculine energy, Scorpio, with the Queen of Wands. But on a subconscious level, um, here's your feminine. Okay, so you have as above, so below. So to everyone else and even your person, you come up very confident, very sure of yourself. You know what you want, okay? But beneath the surface, you show up as the mouse. And mouse is a very worried energy, um, very anxious energy, <clears throat> nitpicky, crit critical, okay? Mouse energy can tend to focus on a lot of things that are wrong, okay, with with someone or a situation, okay? So, but, the, and then your person shows up as the four of pentacles, which is feminine. You have earth. So they give off a very, you know, soft, feminine reserved energy. Okay. So this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. <sighs> Subconsciously though, there's two ways that I'm reading the Panther. The Panther is you. All right. And I'll tell you what I get with this. I feel like a number of you have like gone off on this individual and that worries you. You've shown this person like a darker aspect. You've shown this person a very angry side of yourself. Okay. It was necessary. If that part resonates with you, it was necessary because the Panther is here. It may have been necessary for you to get out this energy with who this is Scorpio. Okay. Because what I'm getting is for a number of you, you could be committed to this person. I do feel that. I feel like for a number of you, you're committed to who this is. You're uh, dating this person. You're in some sort, you're involved with this person romantically. And I don't know if this has just happened. Um, <clears throat> if I'm picking up what might occur. Okay. Cause it's all energy. So I'm just picking up on it. <clears throat> if I'm picking up on what might occur or what is occurring now um, with you and who this is. All right. But I'm getting that this romantic connection is like maybe it's taking on an added dimension. Okay. There's an added aspect. That's why you have a new romantic cycle begins and um I feel the moon energy is is you as well, Scorpio. 
I feel like that's your mouse spirit coming out. You're... Because this person's very closed off right now, Mm -hmm. I, I, that's so crazy. I'm just getting so much duality with the both of you here. Okay. Um, it's like all like they're the dark wolf. You're the white wolf. There's a lot of like, yes, okay, that could be why too. I'm getting so much um, duality. You have, <laughs> you have new romantic cycle begins, new moon and Libra. So um, my apologies if I seem a bit scattered. I'm just, you know, looking at everything and just telling you what I'm getting. Um, so new moon and Libra really quickly, it, um, it's a new start to partnership. It's a new start to bringing balance and fairness into a situation okay some of you scorpio may have expressed to who this is that you felt like something wasn't fair okay you felt like something wasn't fair um hold on hold on whatever is happening okay because like i said some of you went off on who this is but for a number of you this is your person and they're like shutting down with other people in their lives that's what i'm getting like your person is also going off on individuals in their life. That's what else I'm seeing here, okay? So that's why I'm saying if the part didn't resonate with you where you may have expressed some level of anger to who this is, Scorpio, then this is an aspect of your person expressing their anger to other people in their lives because like they're setting boundaries that's what i'm getting there has been a boundary set okay and i think if you have gotten angry with this person that that has shifted them there's something about vulnerability like this person is kind of putting up a, a fort around themselves okay and and this is just for right now Scorpio but what I'm getting is I think they're saying like I need to possibly um They don't want to be vulnerable with a lot of people right now. If you want me to be honest with you, it's not just you that they are saying to themselves. They're not wanting to be vulnerable. It's other people in their lives as well. Okay. Now. So, okay. What I'm saying is. This is the new added dimension that I'm getting with this connection between you two. A new cycle is starting between you and who this is. Okay. I get a very free feeling with you. The, the energy has changed, but it, honestly, like, it needed to. Whenever the panther shows up, whatever is going on here, I'll just keep going with the storyline of your person getting upset with other people and kind of shutting down. They are needing to express themselves. They're needing to set boundaries with people, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
if you expressed yourself, Scorpio, to this person, it may have been necessary, unfortunately, So it, the panther shows up because things need to get shaken up in order for, in order to restore balance in a connection and things were off, things were off here, but I'm getting like a tower moment, you know, things kind of are falling apart or have fallen apart because Things from the past needed to go here on your person's end. Um, Scorpio, you may have called this out with the Queen of Wands, okay? It's interesting because you also show up with, I remember the first day we met, it was like yesterday. I remember the first day we met, it was like yesterday. I'm getting reminiscing with this. Yeah, I'm getting the moon. I'm getting the moon. I'm getting reminiscing. Well, you're worried about though. You're worried about something. I think for a number of you, you're worried if you've gone off on this person. <laughs> it's like you're, that's your fear. I don't know if you're worried that if you said too much. Okay. Because the mouse, this is what I'm saying. You, okay, this is, okay. there's so much. Because I feel like you have shown this side of yourself. For a number of you, you've shown this side of yourself, this very dark, aggressive side of you to this person. Um, and they have this too. Your person has this very dark, aggressive side to them too, but they're better at not showing it. Okay. At least right now, at least right now, because I feel like for a number of you, this person is also like beating themselves up about, I don't know, they're, they're like going off to themselves, like going off on themselves. Like you need to, you know, figure something the fuck out. Like I see them talking to themselves, like, you know, you need to figure it out. They're being very, um, if you think that you're critical of who this is, this person right here, especially with this like Capricorn, any earth, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, they are their worst critic, whoever this is. Okay. And I'm also getting, um, Scorpio, this person really wants to figure something out to themselves, like by themselves. They want to figure something out here. All right. Also, too, I'm hearing like this person can take a tongue lashing. So if you like went off on this person, um, I could see them being very stoic. <laughs> um, not really all that reactive, but they like are reacting to themselves. Like I see them in a room, like having a conversation, going off about everything to themselves. OK, I hope I'm making sense, but that's what I'm picking up with them. Um So it's like after, like I'm getting the dust settling and you're sitting here and you're, again, I feel like you're in a much, you're in a good space and I think you're very, you know, thankful for who this is. Hold on. And I am getting nostalgia, like you're reminiscing, you're going back to when you all met. Because, okay, because like it says, a new romantic cycle is beginning. So I'm hearing like the rose colored glasses are off. All right. So now a new start is, is coming and, um, it's just different. It's different with you all. 
And you know that, you know, it's, it's going to be different. Um, here's what I was saying with the mouse spirit. Sometimes the mouse doesn't know when it's gone too far. And there's something here, Scorpio, where I feel like you're asking yourself, have I gone too far? Has something gone too far? <coughs> okay. Um, it can be a very, what it says is the other person on the, on, you know, on the other end, it, it can be very painful experience for those that are close with the mouse. Okay. So yeah, like your person, you know, they're, but I just get them angry at themselves. I feel like they, they almost feel like they've made themselves vulnerable, Scorpio. And, and it's not just you, you know, I don't know. You had to say what you had to say. You had to get it out. Maybe you didn't say it in the best way, Scorpio, if that's the case. Cause I am getting that with some of you. Or again, if this person is just being really, really quiet right now with the moon, because there's a lot of feelings not being expressed. There's a lot going on, lots of emotions beneath the surface. Okay. If you, you know, if there is a lot of mysterious with who this mysteriousness with who this is, which I do get, um, it's just because overall right now your person, I don't know. They just need a moment. They're really upset. It's not necessarily you. I see them upset with themselves, Scorpio, and I see them upset with other people in their life. So here's the interesting part. It says, I'm a better person because of you. I feel more optimistic and full of life. So let's say I don't know, whatever you've done, whatever you have said, whether you went off on this person or if you just spoke your mind to who this is, whatever. This person um, is the type of individual that, like I said, is very tough on themselves and they can actually... Um, they can actually appreciate when someone, you know, even if it doesn't come off the best way, they can, they low key appreciate being called out or something being shown to them because they, they know how, um, how do I say this? Hold on. You've shown them something. There's something in the connection here where they they see, you know, okay, let's use this. I'd like to use examples, okay? Because I don't like, I know, I'm, I hope I'm making sense. And I'm about to wrap this up, okay? And then head into part two. Let's say that you we're telling this individual about certain friends of theirs or people or, you know, certain things where you, where you were noticing the mouse is going to notice stuff. Okay. And it's about the foundation. That's why I'm getting the tower moment. Did you pick apart? Like, <laughs> it's like you picked apart this person's foundation maybe, but you may have, you know, just told this person about certain aspects of their friendships or lives. And, or for example, maybe you told this person, like, you know, I don't, I don't understand why you're still involved with that individual. I don't understand why you're still friends with that person. Like this person's no good. Um, I don't understand why you are always lending that individual money, you know, things like that. Like, I think that you, 
we're kind of pointing out things to them. You know, you were showing them things, Scorpio. And they get it. All right. They get it. And I feel like they really took what you said to heart and they looked around them and they were like, some things have got to go. You know, Scorpio's right. I've got to, I've got to change. Some things need to change here. Because they're going to set, they're, they're doing something here. They're going to set boundaries with other people, especially if they feel like with other people, things, okay, in their life, especially if they feel like it's going to cause issues with the connection with you, Scorpio, okay? Because like I said, and I know it's a typo, I'm a letter. I'm a letter person. I'm a better person because of you. I feel more optimistic and full of life, okay? So whatever has happened here, I see you, you're very worried, but I think your person is just taking a moment to absorb everything, to process everything, Scorpio. Um, and I, like I said, I see for some of you, this person like yelling at themselves, you know, what are you doing? And you know, just settling things with themselves. Okay. But Again, I think this was all necessary, unfortunately, right? We, in relationships, um, like for example, if this was an argument of some sort in, in relationships, unfortunately arguments do happen, but it is a way where we better understand, we better, um, we learn each other. Okay. In, in any relationship, romantic or not, this is how we <clears throat> learn each other. It, it's interesting. I think human beings are so worried about arguing, so worried about going there. Um, but it's, it, it is a space where you're going to be honest and sometimes, you know, people don't like individuals being honest, but I think your person can take it. I think you know that things are going to be different, Scorpio, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> um, time heals all wounds. Okay. So guys, feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, but yeah, allow the storyline to fit however you think it fits. Okay. So Here we go. Um, all right, I'm going to pull the cards for part two, Scorpio, and you're going to see the cards pulled. So in part two, um, we're going to talk about what I see happening next, okay? Sorry, y'all, I'm still getting my bearings. I need to drink more of this coffee. Hold up. Hola, hola, hola. Okay. In part two, I'm going to talk about where this situation is going. Okay. Obviously you and your person, how you all are showing up, feeling, etc. I'm going to give you a timeline of forward movement. Okay. And then we're going to talk about what this person wants overall with you, Scorpio, what they think is going to happen and what I see the outcome being with you two at this point because energy, you know, changes, but I will tell you the outcome that I get. All right, right now. And then we're going to pull your advice, Scorpio. How should you be showing up in this connection? Okay. So if you're interested in watching that, that part of the reading is on Vimeo. The link is in the description, top of the comments. Keep watching. All right. And you can determine if you feel like that's going to be helpful. Scorpio, if this is where we part ways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching your reading. Ooh, this was a longer one. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope the reading helps. Okay. Peace.